This spotlight is sponsored by Parkville Pediatric Dentistry. The math kits um, have three parts, a warm-up, an activity, which is usually a game, and then a practice page. So what the teachers are doing is taking that and doing parts of it across the week so that they will have taught the session um, all three components within a week. And then they'll have that practice page and then the next week they'll start a new session. It's very hands-on. It's very intensive review, so it's taking the curriculum and instead of pounding more on it, it's expanding it so that they really have a good understanding of whatever the concept is that we're trying to teach. The children are chosen by looking at NWEA data that we took in the fall and we were able to break the data down into different strands of what the students need to work on. We were learning about tens and ones and one hundred. She kind of takes sticky notes and makes ones, one hundreds, and tens. And then we put how many tens or how many ones under them. And then add the tens and the ones together. When I started, they couldn't even tell me tens and ones. And now they picked up the tens as a bundle and ones are the popsicle sticks that are on, off to the side. But we've also done it with pattern blocks and Unifix cubes and using tens frames so that they can see the tens and ones bundled and not bundled using different um, media or forms of manipulation. We like count like tens, like from like 50 and like 51 and 25 pretty much, and put those numbers together and take away the one and the five and make the 50 and the 20 uh, 70, and then put the one and the five together and make it at the end of the number we came up with the tens. Um, it's helped me with like um, putting like tens together and like 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 the lower numbers. I know how to put those together, but like the tens is like it's kind of hard. But we've been learning about tens at the back table, so it's kind of been helping me. We were doing um, two-digit addition with regrouping, and she was able to take the tens and one concept and she drew bundles and then ones and she was able to add them up and come up with the correct answer just by applying what we were doing in our small group. I like that um, I get to learn more and I get to do more stuff like I can I can now do math but like when I was like in another grade I couldn't do math because it was too hard. The ultimate goal of the whole intervention kit is that these children will grasp the concept that they're working on and then we can move to another concept and work with the students that are low in that concept. So the student, the group will be flowing, ever flowing and changing. I've learned things in that group that now I can do in math 